Hey guys, welcome to the Antalya Grand Slam Top Epons Part 2. There were just so many great Epons, although this one it was already just had to include it. So many great techniques. Usually I cut a few, but there were just some that I really wanted to show you guys. Like this one here, Aaron Wolf gets him to the ground. And how often do you see a bow and arrow choke from Aaron Wolf? That was a really sweet transition from the Tachiwaza. I didn't realize Aaron Wolf had this in his arsenal, but it's good to see. So anyway guys, make sure a thumbs up on the video. I hope you've subscribed to the channel. And make sure you check out the description. There's discounts for Judo TV. A little ordering system for Kuzakura Gis. But anyway, back to the Epons. No particular order. Now this one, absolutely ridiculous. White ends up getting Hansukumaki for this, but I just saw no escape. I mean, what was he meant to do? And in the comments, guys, let me know what you think this one is called. And we're going across all weight classes, women's and men's, across the three days. Now this one here, would you guys call it a, a sumi otoshi? I just want to call it tewaza, but... A little bit of ashiwaza, and then from here is the technique. I'm not sure you would call that a sasai because of the leg. I mean, the technique kind of happened after the little bit of ashiwaza. Deguchi now, with her ochigari that she loves to do. She's very good at changing directions, and everyone should practice this. I think, I mean, ochigari, it's almost a staple that everyone has to have, regardless of weight class. Now this one here, another one, not sure what to call it. Sumi Otoshi is kind of the go-to when you see these kinds of things. It's kind of stupid how there's the word gaishi, which means counter, but all techniques don't have a gaishi. You can't say uranage gaishi, for example. But you really should be able to, right? You can counter anything, so why can't we say gaishi to everything? Here's another one from Abe Uta, a standing Iponsi Oinage. And she almost looks a little bit kind of scared of herself. Gets up after this technique and it's kind of like, okay, yeah, I did that. That was amazing. Speaking of amazing, and I gotta say, Ashiguruma, probably my favorite technique. Murao and Nagase, these guys are masters of it. This one just a wazari, but had to include it. Indovitsky, and he gets a nice Osotogari here, and this is hard to do. There's a big weight difference here between Silva and Indovitsky, but he gets it done. Now some people say that Ono Shohei's technique is also the Otoshi, but to me this is a much better example. Look at that drive on his knees. Tolofu with the Uchimata. Really nice hopping Uchimata that you don't see much of at plus 78. Look at that, good control too. Now watch Manzi with this one. An Ochigari, but really cuts the corner. Turns him around a lot and then just plants him on his back. That is really hard to do. Those kinds of Ochigaris, very difficult to do. Now I really feel for Blue's shoulder in this one. That would have exploded my shoulder all over the tatami. Yoko Otoshi, pretty crazy how he bounces off his shoulder and then lands flat on his back. Now just as people cut the corner with Ochigaris, they started doing it with the Kataguruma. Molai is really good at this. Once he gets down to the ground, just kind of running around on his knees in a circle. Bit of Newaza now, and I'd really like to see this more often. White looking for the Sumigaishi, and then Blue rolls over and immediately attacks the Newaza. Thinking about the arm for a little bit, but just decides on the Osaikomi. Another one from Murao, and I got another camera angle for this one that really shows the work he does with the head. Watch this. Takes the foot from underneath him, and then plants his head where his foot would have supported that balance. These next two, just really nice control with the upper body. This one, nice bit of tewaza. I guess you could call it a Taiotoshi, even an Uchimata, but it's just tewaza if you ask me. And here, Akadov, great Ashibarai. Super control, really tight control with the top half. Takes the top grip as well as a, a grip around the belt. This next one from Nagase. And this one was a wazari. Can you believe this is a wazari? Alborak, I mean, from this angle, Barely, just ever so barely, stays off his back a little bit, but I think, I mean, they should just call that a Nippon, in my opinion. Huge Sore Sore Komigoshi here. Watch him come across with the elbow. And then this next one, this is from a new guy, Palati for Italy. And it looks really deceptive. He does a low Ochigari into a Sumigaishi. Watch him combine these techniques. That's really unique so it'll be good to see more from Palati. this is a different Palati, by the way at under 73 i do wonder if they're related 
Siri Naginer with double sleeves. Akadov, I mean, he's got such crisp techniques. Uzuchimata, Siri Nage. Really good techniques from him. Ah, she was her as well. Now, blue here with the Kochigari just does enough to stay on top. I mean, white, he also throws the leg out there. And it could have been a counter, but blue did well to stay on top. A little bit of a Sasai, and then the return by Sturpu with the Ochigari. Really tight, deep, driving Ochigari. Gets him really far with that reaping leg. And here's another one from Sturpu. Starts as kind of a, an Uranage, but then kind of turns into a Kosotogake. An underhook and an overhook. It's a great way to do it. Now White here just kind of walks onto this big Ogoshi. Obviously down Ogozari, so... Just trying to chase a score, but I mean, Blue just saw he was coming forward a little bit too much. But sometimes it's good to see a contest end like that. It's better than someone running away with a Wazadi. That's also Togari here, heavy on the knee. Reaping on that knee. Now, this one, very interesting. The Molai kind of Kataguruma, but what he does is he, he feeds his elbow on the inside and wraps it around. Now people do this with this Kataguruma, they also do it with Tanya Toshi too. Kind of a unique Sode here. Going off the wrong side, but just able to control it. Understood what was happening. Macedo now and go look this guy up on Judo Base. He, he does this technique, Seiwe Otoshi. But sometimes he does it and he lifts people up and just demolishes them into the tatami. This Ippon from Han, classic Korean Judo. A lot of Ashiwaza to get that grip broken off the back before going in for the Seonage. Have a look, he's trying hard, you can see him already starting to move backwards to break that grip. Doesn't get it, so a bit of Ashiwaza. And then as soon as it comes off, he, he looks to attack. Gregorian now. And this is Da Costa who had that weird technique at the beginning of the video. He looks for a Suinage, but Gregorian sees what he's doing. And he's already got that makikomi kind of set up around the arm. Puts the hand out, dives. Although diving, I mean, you can't dive these days, but you know what I mean. A dive into the Uchimata. Now guys these days, to kind of avoid the head diving rule, they're putting their hand out first before going for a makikomi. Toroboyev, he is really good at that. Now this one, Elnahas, he's very good at the Ogoshi, but this time doesn't get it. Instead, just goes to the next stage and has to put the leg out for a... Tayotoshi, so kind of combining the two there. Now Buzukarini, he gets smashed by H here. Now H, so strange, I mean, he's a tall guy and here he is doing a Sore Sore Komigoshi. So I really don't understand why he doesn't do also the Gari, Uchimata, Harai Goshi, these kinds of moves. It's all about Seoinage and Sore Sore Komigoshi and Kochi Gari. It's very odd. Now Kim, who you're seeing here, she was kind of taking a photo with Abe Uta after the tournament, congratulating her. So I kind of wonder if Kim and Abe Uta kind of train together in some capacity. Now this one's really nice from Karapatayan. Countering it and also Dogari with your own. Now there's two ways to do it. Kind of meet force with force and kind of go through the other person. Or, in this case, kind of turn against it. Kind of turn it into a little bit of a harai goshi. And yeah guys, this Tanya Toshi, the last one. Kind of grips up with the right hand and then launches into it. So I hope you enjoyed this two-part series. I might do it more in the future if it's a good way to do it. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.